Hey everyone, so I was chatting on AM, AIM with this guy, supposedly he was from England, and I speak fluent American. Fluent American. Hello everybody, I'm Jay Muse, and welcome to today's video, and before you say it, yes, I know she's been covered to death, but it's something that I find hilarious that a person could potentially actually think like this, so, um, yeah, we're gonna cover this, this, uh, intelligent being who, uh, runs this channel called Our Third Life, and, well, we're gonna take a look at a couple of videos here. The first video we're gonna look at is titled, England is Confusing, and then the second video that we're gonna look at is called, Learn to Speak American. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and just leave a bad delicious like on this video, and as usual, I'm gonna go ahead and go through both of these and give you my thoughts on it, so let's go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, so I was chatting on AM, AIM. Alright, so already we can see the age of this video, uh, yeah, yeah, this one's a really old one because AIM, yeah, that stands for AOL Instant Messenger. This is some, like, 1997 old-ass thing that people would chat on. The only reason I know about this is because I just now looked it up, I didn't even know this existed. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that information in your face, so, uh, I guess we can keep watching with this guy supposedly he was from england and i speak fluent american you know there are probably gonna be a lot of cuts in this video because what what was that five seconds and she's already spitting idiot juice out of her mouth right now seriously though fluent american oh yeah dude yeah i speak fluent american as well dude actually that would be english and uh you know this person you're talking to they also speak English. The difference here is the dialect. Us beings from America speak American English, and those of you from the United Kingdom most likely have a British English dialect. Anyway, rant over, let's continue. So there's a bit of a language barrier, but he knew really good English. Ow, stop biting my toe. So, um, I was talking to him about, like, this game I wanted, because I was hoping he'd buy it for me. And he, it was The Sims 3 Generations, and... I really wanted that expansion pack for my Sims game, and he said supposedly he wanted it too, and um, I'm like, well, why don't you get it? And he's like, because it's too much. I'm like, well, how much is it? He's like, it's 15 pounds. So apparently there's a bit of a language barrier there because I asked him how much it costs, not how much it weighs. So a bit of a language barrier. We went over that jump. But the thing I'm wondering is, why does it weigh so much? Oh my gosh, you're so right. 15 pounds for a game? That's ridiculous. Like, who's gonna even be able to pick that up? Can the console even hold that heavy of a game? Like, bro, pretty sure my console would explode if I tried to put the disc in. So yeah, it's obvious here that this girl doesn't know that there are different currencies depending on what country you are in. So, uh, so obviously when the guy says pounds, he means, you know, the currency from the United Kingdom, not how much it weighs. I'm getting skeptical at this point that this is is legit. I, I don't really want to believe that there's an actual human being that can't understand this basic concept that uh, other countries have different currency. I don't know when exactly you learned this, but I'm pretty sure that you learned this in like elementary school, maybe middle school, but no later. There's no way that you learned it later than that. So I'm starting to convince myself that this channel is just here for satire and it's not actually somebody who's just this stupid. But we'll see. Let's keep watching. That's what's confusing to me. Like, does it have to do with where England is located? Like, is it because it's like... I don't even know. Because, like, maybe it's, like, really close to Jupiter? I'm sorry, what exactly was that? Really close to Jupiter? I might have heard that wrong. Just one more time. Really close to Jupiter? Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't going insane. Jupiter? What does that have to do with any country on the Earth? That's a completely different planet. And what do you mean, really close? Like, are you talking like a couple million miles? Because Jupiter's 373.84 million miles away from the Earth. So please explain to me how the United Kingdom could possibly be really close to Jupiter, considering how far the entire planet Earth is. Uh, I mean, unless you think the United Kingdom is another planet that's not on the Earth, because if that's what you're thinking, then you must be from another dimension, because I can't think of anywhere that could give you that kind of insane idea. Honestly, I feel bad for whoever she's in school with, because she's most definitely one of those people that, like, holds up the class 
class when everybody else is just trying to move on like the teachers up there like okay everybody um what's two times two and she's like um I have a question what's two mean I don't I don't quite understand what's the number is it a number what is it anyway why don't we try to finish this clip so like if you know the solar system America is like in the middle and um England is like um it's the it's the closest to the sun I think um so maybe there's a possibility that um there's a difference in like gravity or something so like 15 pounds is actually really light in England it's just so confusing I'm not good with planets but um I think that might be it all right bye everyone yeah, no, this can't be for real. This has got to be satire. There's no way that somebody thinks that America and um, England are separate planets in the solar system. Uh, <laughs> I'm definitely not an expert with, you know, the universe and everything, but um, I know that America is a country on the planet Earth, so I think I'm good. Anyway, we've got a second video to watch here, so uh, strap in and we'll just take a look at it. I don't know. Fuck. I'm playing it. Here it goes. Did you know that there are over five languages in this world? No, I had no idea. We don't need all these languages, people. We don't need no British language or Canadian language or Hawaiian language or Alaskan language. We need just American, okay? So not only is she just a complete buffoon, but she's also racist? Did you know there was more than five languages in the whole world? We don't need no dang British and the Canadian and the Hawaiian. We just need to speak American. Now, I don't mean to get into politics or anything, but uh, listen to that voice and just kind of imagine who I might be referring to. Um, so yeah, it's almost like the spirit of that voice took over this innocent little girl and is just making her sound like an uneducated idiot who only likes America and white people and no one else. Just American language. Nothing more, nothing less, just American. You want to know why? Because the letters are pretty. They're cute, pretty letters. Like, like you can't get letters, like, prettier in the world, okay? Also, like, with the, what is it, Saint Seraph and, um, there's just a lot of fonts. You can't get that with no Canadian language with the little ching chang chongs. No, you can't. So, as the president of the world, kid president of the world, and the queen of everything, I am now going to officially cut the dookie with the other languages. We don't need them. Actually, I'm thinking we don't need you on the internet whatsoever. Even if this was satire, this is extremely offensive and shitty to say. If this is a real human being, then this is really sad because she's so uneducated that she just doesn't understand anything, but I don't know if her stupid little brain could grasp anything because that's just how it is, I guess. Anyway, I can't handle any more of her stupidity, so I'm just gonna cut this one short. I really appreciate you if you got this far in the video. If you'd like to be a part of the end of the video club, then tell me if you can pat your head and rub your tummy at the same time. Time. Anyway, to show your appreciation for the video, why don't you spank that subscribe button and fondle that like button for me? It'd be really nice of you. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you have a good rest of the day. I hope you stay happy and healthy, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.